You're watching EAC News. Thank you for joining us. Farmers in Bantia Menchai's Mongol Borai district are pleased to see this year's rice prices increase, especially since this year's yield has decreased. One farmer living in Chamnon commune said that this year he cultivated seven hectares of fragrant rice, yielding about 3.5 tons per hectare this year due to lack of water in the dry months. This is the third harvest that is sold for about $278 a ton. <laughs> Meanwhile, another farmer, Chan Kun, said that she was happy because the price of rice this year is higher than last year, although the yield is lower than last year. She also called for better infrastructure, especially roads, to facilitate crop transportation. Rice trader Li Vanna said that he buys fragrant rice for about 1,200 rio per kilo, Meanwhile, type 54 rice, an early maturing high yield rice variety, goes for about 1115 rio per kilo. Commune chief Kun Kwon said that farmers planted about 975 hectares of dryland rice and that they were able to harvest about 60 to 65 percent of it. Most farmers in the commune prefer to use 54 varieties and fragrant rices, and this year's yield is between 3.5 to 4 tons per hectare. Deputy Governor Klok Noy said that while the price of rice is higher this year, some farmers are complaining that prices are actually lower. He responded that some farmers are harvesting their rice too early, producing a lower quality that fetches lower prices. He said that for good, ripe rice, the price is still high. The royal government's economic pentagon strategy includes boosting the agricultural economy through establishing rural farmers associations, financing programs to boost production, and maintaining agricultural prices at a reasonable level. Farmers in Bantia Mianche province, who have benefited from the new policy program, are satisfied and announced their support for the new government. ແລະຖ້າບາດໄຟນີ້ອະນັດທີ <laughs> 8 